Hello guys, Croft is here. Today I want to discuss different theories about the relationship between Predators and Engineers, given some interesting details in the new Predator movie. On the top of that, I'll talk about the possibility of the war between these two species, which I think is very possible, and it goes along with a few details in Prometheus and Predator movies. I really appreciate you guys suggesting your own theories in the comment section, so I'll include them in my analysis. Also, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to not miss any new videos. Previously, I believed that engineer technology is superior to that of Predators, however, in the first scene of the new release Predator, we can clearly see that Yauchi ships have the wormhole technology, which is something we've never seen engineers using. At the end of Prometheus, David and Elizabeth depart from LV-223 and it's shown how the Juggernaut propulses into space. In Alien Covenant, the same ship arrives to the atmosphere of the planet 4 as if it went from very high speed to almost a complete stop. Which means that engineer ships can travel extremely high distances due to the speed manipulation of the vehicle instead of the manipulation of space around it. On the other hand, in Predator 2018, the Yaucha ships have the wormhole technology which allows them to cut through space-time and travel to a distant point almost instantly. Wormholes are also called Einstein-Rosen bridges, and inside these special objects, space-time and gravity interact to generate a tunnel that allows to pass from one part of the universe to another, bypassing the intervening space. If you've seen Interstellar or other science fiction movies, you probably already have an idea about space-time tunnels. A wormhole basically curves 3D space in a 4D space, connecting two points. Similarly, how you can connect a 2D sheet of paper in our three-dimensional space to connect two points on it. So, if we compare how the Predator and Engineer ships travel extremely high distances, it becomes obvious that Predators have superior technology, because creating wormholes requires deep understanding of space and time, and allows to travel bigger distances in less time. Another proof would be that Engineers seem to go to hypersleep, which is only needed if the journey takes a lot of time. However, just to add a little bit of doubt to it, we don't really know if these hypersleep pods were used by passengers to undergo very long trips, since the Juggernaut needed a pilot who did not go to hypersleep, as far as we know. Instead, he would be merged with a biosuit and supposedly control the ship. So why would some engineers go to hypersleep, but not the pilot? Maybe Ridley Scott just didn't think about it, because in the hologram that David activates, we can clearly see engineers go to hypersleep before they supposedly set the destination to Earth, and then we learn that the pilot would be merged with the chair instead of going to hypersleep. One can speculate that, because the juggernaut speed is extremely high, the bodies cannot handle it unless they're put in these pods or in the biosuit. However, that really feels like a big reach, so let's assume that Predators are technologically superior to Engineers, since we've never seen Engineer ships capable of the wormhole travel. If that's true, how could Engineers create Predators, as I concluded in my other video, which I posted before the release of the new Predator movie? The new information about Predator technology makes us question even more the idea that engineers created Predators. We'll never know for sure if one species created another until this information is revealed on the screen or in comic books. So at this moment there are two major theories about the relationship between the space jockeys and the Predators. The first theory explains how engineers can still be creators of Yaucha, and the second one explains the war between Predators and Engineers. Despite the fact that Predators are more technologically advanced, Engineers still could have created them. Predators used the wormhole technology in 2018, or maybe even in 2004 in AVP Requiem, since Wolf travels really fast from his home planet to Earth. However, Juggernauts in Prometheus and Alien Covenant are about 2000 years old, because all engineers on LV-223 died as a result of an accident. 
so predators had additional 2000 years to further advance their technology, however I don't think engineers would come up with a wormhole travel in 2000 years if they couldn't do it in 3 billion years, which brings us to another, more plausible explanation. If engineers created predators, it's entirely possible that predators are superior by design. Engineers could have intentionally made predators superior to them in an attempt of creating something better than themselves. Just like humans made androids who are basically better than humans in everything, cognitive abilities and physical strength. Imagine if there was a planet of androids who possessed higher intelligence and strength. Left alone to themselves, they could have advanced way faster than humans, their creators. And eventually androids would probably want to wipe humans out, thinking that they are the next step of evolution, which is exactly what David concluded in Alien Covenant. So if we apply this analogy to the engineers and the predators, we end up with the scenario in which the creation, Yaucha, surpassed their creators, engineers. Which explains why predators' technology is thousands of years ahead of whatever the engineers had. In the new predator, we learn that the Yauch are able to merge their DNA with DNA of other species. Since engineers are known for their bioexperiments with life forms, it's very plausible that predators learned bioengineering from their creators. Another detail is that, despite having seemingly distinct appearance from engineers, predators have many similar biological features. Both have two arms and legs, two eyes and one mouth, and so on. They both have similar skeletal proportions, so on a broad biological spectrum with massive variation of all existing life forms, predators and engineers stand very close, which makes it likely that one created another or that they at least share the same DNA. There is also a theory that engineers took reptiles from Earth in the early Jurassic period and conducted experiments on them using the black goo, which led to the creation of predators as we know them now. The second theory is that engineers and predators are rival races that were engaged and maybe are still engaged in a war and will go over details in movies that support this idea. That theory does not directly contradict the first one because it's still possible that engineers created predators and Yaucha turned against their creators just like David turned against humans. Or maybe after creating Yaucha, engineers realized that they made a mistake and tried to wipe them out, which sparked a war between these two species. On the other hand, predators could have evolved completely separately from engineers, and at some point in history these species became rivals, engaging in an ongoing war. As mentioned in Prometheus, LV-223 appeared to be a military base with fields and installations for weapon testing. After realizing that the black goo causes radical mutations resulting in hostile creatures, engineers created xenomorphs as a weapon to fight the predators. Originally, engineers intended to create the black goo for a completely different purpose, which I explained in my other video about the early Prometheus script, so check it out if you want. The pathogen failed to work in the way engineers expected, however they realized that instead it can be used as a weapon to mutate simple organisms, turning them into hostile creatures with increased physical strength and aggression. Another important detail is that on LV-223 there are multiple temples or military facilities as if engineers were at war with someone. If the temples were just some sort of religious installments, why would they build at least four of them in a row and connect to juggernauts with deadly pathogen in the cargo? As I already mentioned in my other video, we can see the Space Jockey Skull in AVP Requiem as one of the trophies, which means that Predators have killed Engineers. And based on the fact that LV-223 was completely abandoned, it seems like Predators have won the war against Engineers. If the pathogen outbreak occurred just in one temple and LV-223 was one of engineer military bases, other engineers from their homeworld would have returned to kill the creature and reclaim LV-223. Instead, the planet was completely abandoned, which probably suggests that engineers on the homeworld are dead or killed by predators. 
It's even possible that Yaucha caused the outbreak on LV-223 and released the pathogen themselves to kill engineers. Physically, engineers are stronger than predators, so maybe Yaucha used the engineer's weapon against them. Thank you guys so much for watching, let me know your thoughts about these theories in the comment section. Also, make sure to check out the store that sponsored my channel, link in the description. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more content. My name is Croft and I'll see you in the next video.